What up, YouTubers? This is your boy, Big Metroid Fan 12, coming to you with another video game review. And this time I'm reviewing Super Dice Fall for the NES. It was made by CSG Image Soft. And it's pretty much like the first Dice Fall game to be released on the NES. And it has the um, rules of your typical Dice Fall game where you. Um, grab like like one or three dice balls and you chuck and you chuck it at like different people and this in in this case of this particular game it's pretty much a team sport where the only way you can get off is, is to get hit by the dice ball. Now there are the three different game modes that's in super dice ball. Which are for World Cup play versus play in Bean Ball. In the World Cup play, you play as um, Team USA in a single player tournament where you face off against eight other teams that you have that you have to uh, eliminate to win the World Cup championship. And pretty much versus play is pretty much a two player game where you and another gamer can pick teams one of you can pick teams from the um World Cup mode to to, to, to play against each other and the um, teams are um Team USA, Pro All Stars, England, India, Iceland, of uh, China, Japan, Kenya, Japan, Russia and Team Sh Team Shadow, which is pretty much a Team USA clone. Um, plus, the, um, there's the um, Bean Ball mode where um, team members from Team USA go in and a, in a free in a free for all dice ball game. Uh, and, you know, each team that's in this game have a, have each have a captain, and each team has their own strengths and weaknesses. And one thing about this particular um, game is that um, it does have like three difficulties, three difficulty settings, which are easy, normal, and hard, which is called which is called difficult. And it, you do have like uh, have different moves. You can do like throwing, running throw. And like a power shot, and there's pretty much diff different variations of each of the moves that are in the game. And all the um, members of each team do, do have their own name to it, you know what I'm saying? Like, to now, um, the graphics and the level and the design of the game are pretty good. And it seemed like the in the in the um character designs of um Super Dice Ball remind me of the character design of um River City Ransom. The gameplay is is good, especially with the different types of moves you can do in the course of a dice ball game in in, in Super Dice Ball. And the soundtrack is is pretty good. It's, it does fit the game and it's fun to listen. To while you're playing Super Dodgeball, it seems like either the soundtrack or the gameplay is the best part of the um, game, and it really does depend on who you talk to. We ask that particular question of which aspect of Super Dodgeball is the best part of it, whether it's graphics, gameplay, or whatever the case. You know, now. To me, Super Dice Ball is a pretty underrated game, you know what I'm saying? It is it, it is overall a good game that's worth playing, and I honestly recommend this to gamers in general, especially those who like to play sports games and the retro gamers also. And as far as the score, I would definitely give it an 8 out of 10. Uh, with that being said, if you like um, this particular 
this review of the Super Dodge Ball. You can make, you, you can click the uh, thumbs up button. You can share it on Twitter or, or on Facebook. If you like the Super Dodge Ball from a general standpoint, if it's one of your favorite sports games, you can mention it in the comment section of the video. And don't forget to subscribe. This is your boy Big Metro Fan 12 signing off.